Phylum Platyhelminths. <laughs> General Characters Well, Platyhelminths are bilaterally symmetrical and or sovereignly flattened triploblastic worms. <laughs> 2. Body shape generally worm-like but varies from moderately elongated flattened shape to long flat ribbons and leaf-like. <laughs> 3. The flatworms are small to moderate in size varying from microscopic to extremely elongated forms measuring up to the 10 to 15 meters. 4. Majority of flatworms are white, colorless. Some derive color from the ingested food, while the free living forms are brown, gray, black or brilliantly colored. <laughs> 5. Anterior end of the body is differentiated into head. Six. In some animals ventral surface bearing mouth and genital pores. Seven. Presence of great variety of adhesive secretions, organs of attachment and adhesion, for instance, hooks and suckers. Eight. Body is covered with the cellular syncytial one-layered partly ciliated epidermis, while in parasitic forms epidermis is lacking and the body is covered with cuticle. Nine. Exoskeleton and endoskeleton are completely absent, hence, the body is generally soft. Hard parts consist of cuticle, spines, thorns, hooks, teeth, etc. Ten. A silhouette, that is, true silum is absent. 11. Body space between the various organs is filled with the mesenchyme usually called parenchyma. 12. Digestive system is totally absent in a cola and tapeworms but in other flatworms it consists of mouth, pharynx and lined intestine. Anus absent. Thirteen. Respiratory and circulatory systems are absent. Fourteen. Excretory system consists of single or paired proteinephridia with flame cells or bulbs. Fifteen. Nervous system is primitive. The main nervous system consists of a pair of cerebral ganglia or brain and one to three pairs of longitudinal nerve cords connected to each other by transverse commissures. This type of nervous system is called ladder type of nervous system. Sixteen. 
esteem. Sense organs are of common occurrence in free living forms but these are greatly reduced in parasitic forms. Seventeen. Sexes are united, that is, hermaphrodite with very few exceptions. Eighteen. Reproductive system is highly evolved or complex in most of the forms. Nineteen. Asexual reproduction by fission. Twenty. In majority of forms eggs are devoid of yolk, but provided with special yolk cells and are covered by eggshell. Twenty-one. Fertilization is internal, it take place by self-fertilization or by cross-fertilization. Twenty-two. Life cycle complicated involves one or more hosts. 23. Parthenogenesis take place in some animals. 24. The flatworms are either free-living or ecto- or endoparasite. This phylum is classified into three classes. Class 1 Turbularia. Class 2 Trematoda. Class 3 Coastoda. Class 1. Turbularia. 1. Mostly free living flatworms but some ecto or endoparasitic. 2. Body and segmcnid. 3. Body covered with the cellular or syncytial epidermis usually with mucous cells and which is usually partly ciliated. 4. Adhesive organs abundantly present. 5. Digestive system usually consists of mouth. Pharynx and intestine, anus not found. 6. Excretory system consists of protonephridia, the flame cells. 7. Sense organs consist of tangoreceptors and chemoreceptors. 8. Mostly hermaphrodite. 9. Reproduction sexual, asexual and by regeneration. 10. Life cycle simple. Example, planaria.
It is in flatworms, like planaria, that we first see bilateral symmetry and cephalization, the localization of the sense organs in the head region. A pair of ocelli, light-sensitive eye spots, are located toward the center of the head. Lobes extending from either side of the head contain chemosensory cells. Planaria feeds using the protrusible muscular pharynx. The chemosensory cells on the lobes are used to locate the food. Through rhythmic contraction of the muscular pharynx, planaria pumps the food into the gastrovascular cavity with a siphon-like action. Class 2. Trematoda. Well, ictaparasitic or endoparasitic forms, commonly called flukes. 2. Body shape usually dorsal ventrally flattened. 3. Body wall without epidermis and cilia. 4. Body undivided and covered with the cuticle. 5. Well-developed suckers usually present. 6. Digestive tract incomplete consisting of mouth, pharynx and two forked or many branched intestine, anus absent. 7. Protonephridial excretory system consisting of flame cells. 8. Mostly hermaphrodite. 
Nine. Over a single, testes too too many. Ten. Life history simple or complicated. Example. Liver flu. Class 3, Sistoda. 1. Endoparasites in the intestine of vertebrates. 2. Commonly called tapeworms. 3. Body without epidermis and cilia but covered with cuticle. 4. Body usually divided into few too many segments, proglottids, rarely undivided. 5. Anterior end, scarlax, is provided with adhesive structures, hooks, suckers, except in cestodaria. 6. Mouth and digestive tract totally absent. 7. Excretory system consists of proteinophridia with typical terminal flame bulbs. 8. Nervous system usually comprises a pair of ganglia and two lateral longitudinal nerve cords. 9. Each segment, proglottids, contains one or two sets of complete hermaphroditic reproductive system. 10. Life cycle complicated usually involving two or more hosts. 11. Embryos possess hooks. Example, tapeworm.